Hello everyone, this is Little Green Patch 98 and I have some fresh strawberries here. We went to Easton Market in Detroit yesterday. They were having a big flower day. There was a lot of vendors there selling flowers and plants and stuff. We didn't really need any of that, but we got some strawberries. I have been wanting to make um, strawberry jam for a while out of the canning book that I found the recipe and I just didn't have the strawberries so now that I got them and I use strawberries with the frozen strawberries a lot um, to make my smoothies but I thought it would be better to make the jam out of fresh strawberries so I picked up this they were selling them two dollars a container now they're the really big containers just pull one out here really big containers um, they're actually two pounds each and I wish you could smell them. They smell all so good. I could just wash them up and eat them just like this. But they're the two pound containers. So this is four containers. They were selling them $2 each. Or if you bought the flat, it was $6. So that was a bargain. I mean, I couldn't pass that up. And there's eight pounds of strawberries here. So... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take out what I need for jam, and whatever I have left, I'm going to freeze for my smoothies, and then if there's any left, I'll probably just eat them, I guess. <laughs> just like this, because they smell all so good. I mean, I guess I could just freeze what is left and just make um, my um, smoothies out of it, but they smell so good so fresh and I couldn't pass it up this is a great deal because I know in the in the mar in the supermarkets you pay a lot more and these are nice and fresh um, right from the grower themselves maybe hopefully maybe not whatever but anyway they they were a great price and I couldn't resist so I'm going to make some jam and then whatever's left probably just freeze it for my smoothies so I just wanted to show you what I got at the Eastern Market in Detroit yesterday. So I'm getting ready Thank to process these strawberries. Look how nice and ripe and juicy they are. They're a good size. I did have to like sort through them because of course you're gonna get a few bad ones in the bunch but I picked out the best ones I could find and these are well, I tried a couple so they're nice and sweet. They're ripe. They're delicious. I mean Really? I can't get over the smell of fresh strawberries. It's so good. Frozen has a great scent, but seriously, look at this baby. You can't go wrong with fresh. It's beautiful. Alright, I will come back when I have them all processed and getting ready to make jam. Um, it's going to be my first time, so keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, I'll see you okay, in a little bit. Okay, so this is what eight pounds of fresh strawberries look like. Washed, and I cut the tops off. Look at these bad boys. They're humongous. It's like beauty. And, of course, I had to try a few more as I was going along. Look at that. They are nice, juicy, fresh, ripe awesomeness right here. I love fresh strawberries. So I'm going to um, divide them up, take out what I need for the jam, and the rest I am going to freeze. So I'm going to measure out and mash out what I need for the jam, and I think this one has my name on it. And um, the rest I'm going to freeze for my smoothies. All right. I'll show you okay, the next so part. Okay, so I've taken out the portion that I need for the jam, and I have still have a lot of berries left and I was thinking what I would do is just make a second batch of jam because I have enough um, sugar and pectin and etc. Um, so I'm going to process the first one see how it goes and then I will decide what I want to do with the rest of them because this is a pretty deep bowl and it's almost filled to the rim still of berries so We'll see how it goes with the first batch of jam and then decide if I want to just freeze this whole bowl of berries or if I want to go ahead and make a second batch of jam and then um, freeze what is left out of the bowl. So, um, yeah, um, 
let's see how it goes so this is what I'm going to be using for the jam this is um, real fruit classic pectin I have butter lemon juice and my sugar and that's just my um, measuring cup to measure out the sugar and in the back is my strawberries ready to go now I looked in the bowl complete book of home preserving and I also looked in the DIY canning book um, these are the two books I have for canning and neither one of the recipes that I'm gonna use right now is in either one of these books that I saw so I actually went on YouTube and excuse my scratchy writing but this is the recipe I'm going to be using five cups of mashed strawberries seven cups of sugar four tablespoons of lemon juice 1.7 ounces of the pectin and a half a teaspoon of butter so that's the recipe I'm going to be using to make my jam and like I said keep my fingers crossed let's see how it goes and um, we'll decide on the second batch. All right, I you don't need to see all the ins and outs. I'm sure you've seen it a hundred times, but this is the first time I'm going to be doing it. So we'll see how it goes, and um, I'll show you the end result. All right. So this is what's left over from my second batch I decided to do. It's about a quarter of a bowl and um, I'm going to freeze, take a couple out for now and then I'm going to freeze the rest. So there's still some big juicy ones in there and then some medium and not too much are smaller ones but I have a good bit left to freeze for my smoothies and these will come in handy instead of using, well buying and using frozen, I'll be using fresh frozen which is better because I know where these came from and I know that they were nice and ripe when I froze them because I've tried several so this is what I will be freezing for my smoothies. Okay so this is what I was able to get out of the eight pounds of strawberries that batch I did um, yesterday I had washed and cleaned them I didn't use the whole eight pounds um, the rest that I didn't eat out of this I froze for smoothies so if you see this they <laughs> look so good so there is 10 10 quarts in all of jam strawberry jam and I want to say that the little foamy that you scrape off the top um, of when you're processing the jam I had it sitting on the side and I wasn't gonna eat it I was just gonna taste it but it tastes so good I had some homemade bread so I toasted two pieces of bread put it on there and it was delicious somebody tell, tell me why we've been eating processed store-bought jam all these years I don't know but now that I've done this ha, never again yeah this is definitely the way to go. This is so much better than the store-bought, you know, jam and jelly. Um, I don't know if you can see that. See how this one looks a little bit darker than the one next to it? This is the first batch, and this is the second batch. I don't know why it looks a little bit darker. Maybe it's just the lighting. I don't know. But anyway, I did do two batches afterwards, and... I don't know. It's it's weird that that looks like a different color in the camera, but it's I don't think it is. I think it's just the way the light's hitting it. But my family will be enjoying this. We had a little bit, and um, we definitely will enjoy this. So that's my strawberry jam from Eastern Market Strawberries. Thank you very much for watching. You have a great day.